Tell them I'm on my way. But nobody. Tell them. I'm on my uh, way. Nobody I keep my mind on my money. I keep my hand on my gunny. Don't get to playing with Sonny unless you play boy bunny. I put bow in your tummy, tattoo in your brain. Man ain't playing. If you think it's a game, haters whisper my name. Suckers want what I slain. Every kin and I'm pain. DA want me to hang. But let me explain. Like Abel and Kane. That the black prince. On the binge of revenge, it depends if I can live with my sins. Lose family and friends. Lost them all. Now you got to lose life and limb. Spit flim on them. Got the code to rock him. Homie, jokes ain't allowed. And your boy ain't scared to move the crowd with something loud. If you doubt what I'm about, go ahead and run your mouth. I'm the last thing you see when your time is running out. Trick. गाइस वेलकम बैक टू रेडेस कमर तो आज हम खेलने वाले हैं माफिया थ्री डेफिनेटिव एडिशन तो बिना देरी के शुरू करते हैं पॉइंट पर डन एंड आई नीड अ न्यू सेट ऑफ व्हील्स जस्ट गोना टेक अ स्क्वाड मैन आई विल गेट अ राइट टीम Just like you ordered. That's a big hill. Paying off the Sunny Blue, it's really fucked him up with the butcher. Sunny's back over at the Roberto. His language has taken an especially colourful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sunny's loan shark and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola has hit the fan. Sunny set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over. Here. Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed that some mysterious colored fella disrupted his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. You gotta come to the Christmas. You take your Some crossfire and point for done. Enough said. On our way.
What I can't understand is what good All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Son, I, I double checked myself and we're still down 16 G's. 16 grand. Christ. Boy, it is Bobby Aries pissed us all fuck. Boy, he might send some men around. Screw that fat fuck. You know, I saw him pissing one time. His dick's about two inches long. Huh? Can't respect a man with a tiny dick. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Trying to put that rabbit dog down. convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls. Now we get to make some horror. <laughs> Sir. 
send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Need to make a deposit, sugar? Bonsoir, Cher. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up Ah, uh, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's I know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking he's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker.
Got it. Fire it. Hey, I'm feeling it. Won't kill for him. Save a bullet or two. The nigger and the mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up? Oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. Finish with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you. Show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You could thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. It was 
funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little mend what's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does it? No, it does. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. The world fucking got me. It's the sense of changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But the deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you'll excuse me. Oh, I've got to see the Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Astronauts supposedly use. We hear about explosions at the salvage yard. Shit's getting out of control. Eh, whiskey, whiskey everywhere. And not a drop to drink. Well, maybe a drop. You think I forgot what you did? 
You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. That. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out, then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list, right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. <laughs> Cassandra's <laughs> right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Go oh, get. Yeah. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. <laughs> the photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. <laughs> I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're in plain fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. Hey. Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. It's about Marcano? No, nah, it's something else altogether. Just get here. All right, see you soon.
Forgive me, please. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. The Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. You're the scary motherfucker who gon' deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to burn us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in a cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk.
You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend will meet. Is this someone I know? Nah, ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. A man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of them. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. Your taste in music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah? But when I want to know what you think about my music, I'll smack you upside the head. I'm sorry, I can't listen to this anymore. Much better. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall, Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. <laughs> Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle fraud? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skiffs shit themselves. Well, I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. Like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee, God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Hey, you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brains. Hey, this fella down here's got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. Fucking Aldridge. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. 
Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. Don't let that Let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Was well, that enough? Then you're smoking. Goddamn right it is. It's moving up in the world. <clears throat> yeah. Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs. Name's Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh fuck! <laughs> You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right, Davi. The man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that thing to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. <laughs> Does that mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. 
Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Stand up. तो गाइस आज के लिए इतनी मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट में तो जाने से पहले वीडियो अच्छा लगा तो लाइक करना शेयर करना पुचुक करके सब्सक्राइब करना समझ रहे हो पुचुक करके तो आज के लिए इतने मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट में टिल देन बाय बाय टेक केयर लव यू अपनी फैमिली तो गाइस आज के लिए इतनी मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट में तो जाने से पहले वीडियो अच्छा लगा तो लाइक करना शेयर करना पुचुक करके सब्सक्राइब करना समझ रहे हो पुचुक करके तो आज कल इतने मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट में टेन देन बाय टेक केयर लव यू अपनी फैमिली